Hey guys, this is Chris again, coming at you with another review. Today's review is, as you know, as I mentioned yesterday, this is my long-term grail. One that I'll eventually add to the collection. This is the Blanc Pond 50 Thousands. This is the Ceramic Bath Escape. Quick real spot check. Or an Omega, of course. But on to the watch. This watch, as you know, has a lot of history. A lot of people credit the Submariner with being the first I've watched, but actually the Bonk Pond 50 Fathoms in the other iteration. It wasn't this iteration, of course, but the 50 Fathoms was actually the first dive watch. It was invented for the, or created for the French Navy in around the 1950s so they could have a reliable diver. That's just a little bit of the history of the watch. Like I said, it was created for the French Navy back in the 50s. And the side specs on this watch, this is definitely a big sucker, but it really doesn't wear that big, I guess because of that cushion style case. The case thickness is a little over 13 millimeters thick. It's over 43 millimeters going on, almost 44 millimeters size. I'll do a wrist shot, like I said. It really does not wear that big. About one of my only complaints on the watch is 23 millimeter lugs. I mentioned yesterday that they were 22. I thought they were, but they are 23. So that's going to be kind of hard to find straps for. But you can always get a custom strap made or try to fit a 22 or 24 on there. But the strap itself is actually pretty comfortable. It's almost like a tropic style strap. With like PVD brushing. You see it's got the, the Blanc Pond logo on there. There's that caliber 13... 15 or 13 17 movement, excuse me. Really well known movement. Over 200 and some odd pieces, almost as many as my Zenith working pieces. This is a 30 bar water resistant watch. About the bezel action isn't too bad, it's a little rough, a little hard to grip, but it is ceramic. You can see I'm trying to catch the light, but once you're out in the light, out in the sunshine, this thing really pops out at you. Like I said, this is one of those that you have to see in person to appreciate. Like, pictures and video and all that really does not do it justice. I've had some comments saying, oh, well, this looks like a cheap, you know, Orient, whatever, blah, 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 blah. They, they, the people just ignorant. They don't know what they're talking about. As far as that, like I said, this is one that you have to just see in person to be able to appreciate. You see the crown down here at 3 o'clock. Like I said, that bezel's almost... It kind of shines. Almost like a PVD-like coating there. But overall, I would definitely, of course, recommend this. This retails for... As you can see there... Retails for almost 13. Of course, you get a hold of Ross and his crew. They'll, they'll work with you and work and deal with you. So you got to let, let them know I sent you. A lot of people might say that's an expensive watch, but when, once you see it in person, it's it's either the, a lot of people either choose this or the Submariner or they choose both. Because this is kind of like an under-the-radar watch you can wear almost anywhere and not have to worry about it. You know, a lot of people won't know what you're wearing if they don't know watches. Only a watch guy or a gal will know what, what, what you're wearing. As you can see, it's got it cleaned out. The second hand going around there it has the uh, the red pip there. Kind of offsets it. The clean indices, which I like. It's got the date in between the 4 and the 5. You got the automatic, the Swiss made. And like I said, if you want a real historical piece, this with a lot of history behind it, this is one to get. And I'm not knocking the Rolex, because I, I like Rolex as much as the next, next guy, but everybody thinks you got to have the Rolex. Let me do a quick wristwatch check. Do a little side-by-side -side comparison just to show you the thickness. It's a pretty thick watch, but it really doesn't wear that bad like my 41mm Omega. But I definitely appreciate Ross and his crew over at Diamonds Direct. Over in Charlotte, let me know. Let me take a look at this thing. Because like I said, this is a long-term grail. Here is a wrist shot. My seven and a half inch wrist. You see, it doesn't really wear that bad at all. And this thing is really, really light. It wears really, really well. I'm trying to get that light so you can see how they, that bezel shines there. 
Like I said, with the rich history behind this watch, I definitely recommend it. And if you want, they can do global shipping, free shipping anywhere across the world. I've dealt with them. As you know, I've bought two from them. I'm probably going to buy one more here soon from them. But, uh, yeah, this has been a killer piece to have. Sadly, I only have it for like a day because, like I said, they got a quick turnaround on them. So I got to send this back tomorrow, sadly. But I'll enjoy it while I have it. Like I said, this is just one of those things, if you have a chance, you got to see a person just to, to see what it's like. Because it's comfortable, and this may not be your style. I believe they have a blue dial also. And like an off gray, like a sunburst gray. Those are all also really good choices. My buddy Bryce has a, uh, I believe it's like the off gray kind. Sunburst almost, and it, it looks really killer in the pictures. But yeah, this has been Chris, and I appreciate it, Ross. Let me uh, check out my grill for a day. I know I will definitely have one of these at some point in the Forever Collection. Alright guys, this has been Chris with a review of the Blanc Pond 50 Fathom Bathscape Ceramic. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. Alright, peace.